Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and I hope you enjoyed last week's reading. Um, uh, you came in on 7th place with 30 likes. So, well done and thank you very much for liking the video. For those that liked it and if you would like to be the first zodiac sign to have your reading done of the week, then please uh, keep those thumbs up and keep them coming and there is a competition going which is quite fun it keeps me motivated and uh, especially with Brenda because she is a Pisces and I'm a Gemini and it's vice versa with her Gemini is up this week and has beaten the Pisces and with me Pisces have beaten the Geminis so it's a bit of great fun as well between creators and that is what we do when we collaborate <coughs> We also learn from each other and uh, Brenda is from Brenda Tarot Readings and this is your reading so welcome my cyber babies uh, angels uh, for coming back and being so supportive and welcome to the new people that have landed on this channel and if you would like to subscribe please that would be uh, gratefully uh, appreciated and it's also great for you because then you know when I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday so long you click that button, uh, the bell and on all because that's a new feature in YouTube and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker but if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one or an extensive reading one-on-one -on -one, then please look at the information below in the description box or in the top right hand corner you'll find a white circle with an eye and that is the eye for information and it will take you straight through to my website this week I will be adding another sort of reading and that is the crystal ball reading because I've been asked to do crystal ball readings yes I do and I do a crystal ball reading and uh, with uh, first the crystal ball reading and then I get clarification with the tarot and Lenormand or oracle cards so please come in and experience a reading with me Okay, so I'm using the nine card spread again, and this is the querent or the overall energy Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and the clarification cards on all corners. And they can be used to clarify the tarot or the tarot clarify the Lenormand. And that is how you get more information. You have also the oracle cards, the angel f uh, feather oracle card, the uh, crystal. Um, spirit oracle card and the answers of the angels so let's get started with your first card it is number 18 so something is coming to an end and cancer it is a water card because the moon represents uh, Pisces but <coughs> your feelings might be heightened because it is a cups card a water card as Pisces is cups and water and you might feel uh, highly emotional or you might even feel um, what you might call it highly sensitive intuitive um, your you might your intuition might be heightened at the moment so keep an open mind there might be things that you don't know about that you need more information about so here we go uh, the moon also lightens your path you're in the spotlight perhaps you're getting more attention which is making you uh, a bit more fidgety uh, is this true is this not true somebody might be fancying fancying you this could be to start off with a Pisces but it could also be a fire sign the Queen of Wands that could be the Leo and it can also be again Pisces because you've got the High Priestess here and she represents the Moon Goddess and the Moon Goddess is of course Pisces um, or the uh, Empress and that is a Virgo doesn't matter whether it's a man or a female uh, you might make a, if you are a lady then uh, you might meet a new lady friend that is a Virgo Virgo is significant in, in that case or Pisces or 
a um, Leo. Okay, so let's have a look what else we can find. Uh, in the card, somebody could be wearing a mask, and this could be the Virgo, uh, Leo, uh, or the Pisces, if there is a Pisces, Virgo, or Leo in your life, because the, he, they could be wearing a mask, okay, and you don't know that, or you can't see that, but your intuition is telling you so, and here we've got the lobster, so it, um, I won't exclude cancer out of you. This could be also your card. You might be hiding your emotions behind a mask as well. Because we've got the dark side, there might be something that you're hiding. There might be something that you don't know and you're seeking more information. There's two kinds to every, uh, two uh, sides to everything. So you might be hiding your true feelings. You might be emotionally upset or very sensitive and you might be hiding your upset okay well all I can say um, cancer is open up open up and talk to the person that you feel upset with don't hide away and don't don't close off your solar plex or your heart and your mind to new possibilities because that can be very lonely the Empress, like I said, represents Virgo, um, but she also represents Mother Earth. Like the Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, it, uh, correction, this is a Libra. I always get that mixed up because of Mother Earth. So, um, uh, in general, people say it's a Libra, um, the Empress, but, you know, Virgo is um, also the Queen of Pentacles, and that's Mother Earth. So it could be a Virgo, it could be a Libra. Sorry about that. That's I'm only human, so don't shoot the messenger. So Virgo must be important, otherwise it wouldn't come to the surface. You have number three here, so that's creativity. And like I said, there is a new beginning, so be creative. You might have planted seeds, because Mother Earth, the Empress, stands for fertility. So if you want to get pregnant, then you might be getting pregnant within the next three weeks to three months. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. And uh, I don't usually say time because time is man-made, but three is um, very Im in important. It stands out. Okay, um, if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. You might hear of a birth if you're too mature to have any children. So, if you're hearing of a birth, you could become a grandmother or an aunt or a cousin. Could be uh, You could become a twice-removed cousin or niece or ne nephew, whatever. Um, something is happening, is a new beginning. This could be a birth of a project, a new job. Uh, this could also be a new hobby. Um, something you will be nurturing something as you want it to grow. You might have invested in something and you want it to grow and you want to make it blossom and pick the harvest. And that is on Monday. On Wednesday we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands, like I said, it represents Leo, but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries, and she's definitely a, a lady that is determined to get what she wants. She's quite independent, she's strong-headed, um, she's creative, and she goes after what she wants action 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 she is also very passionate in what she does and what she wants she can be a great assistant she can help you where you can't succeed or um, amplify what you want and uh, succeed in getting it lovely lovely so you might be taking a page out of her book as well She's a very determined and also usually a very well-read person because she she needs the knowledge to be creative to get to her goal 
and she does get to her goal again you've got a number nine so it's a lying underneath the moon which is a nine an ending you might have sleepless nights the angels have your back because you've got a double number and you could have a look on uh, Google what nine nine means you might see nine nine repetitively so that is a message for you so have a look on Google where there is an ending there's a new beginning and when you do have sleepless nights please that's my advice put your question or give your issue or your situation or question to the angels and the divine put your problems next to your clothes at night so that you can sleep well and rejuvenate you have a very spiritual reading cancer uh, or an emotional reading as your emotions might be totally upside down because of this new beginning or about worrying about the um, Virgo Libra uh, Leo or uh, Pisces if that is in with, to do with your question you have the high priestess as I said and she's got the book of knowledge she um, keeps uh, quiet about the secrets of the book of knowledge she knows all the answers she's the one that can travel between the dark and the light that is the underworld and the world above the underworld which is our world we can't do without the light or the dark but the story the mythology and the mytho mythological story is is that she is Queen Erba um, she is the wife of the one that um, Hermes I think it was called and she travels between the two worlds because her mother is actually the Empress and I forgot her the Empress is the her mother and she misses her and that's why we have four seasons because in the winter she lets everything go down and dies and goes into hibernation now it's like a magical story go and have a look at my mythical cards I've already explained these two okay <coughs> and she stays on earth for nine months and then returns to her husband Hermes in the underworld so she knows how to travel she knows the answers to the all the answers to life so listen to your intuition and play your cards close to your chest but that is what you are already doing but choose a mother figure or choose somebody that you trust a mature woman to talk to and seek uh, uh, help or an answer to your situation okay listen to your intuition you 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 might be developing your intuition might be sharpening you might become the high priestess this could be a psychic this could be a medium this could be a clairvoyant a clear audience person you might be starting to develop, develop these super uh, powers okay well superpowers uh, supernatural powers um, you're you're communi communicating with the dark and the light world so you might be an other upcoming um, spiritual person you are, we are all spiritual but some of us are more sensitive and open to receiving messages from the other world you will be in balance though because you've got the two okay now the first card that you have is the dice and the dice uh, means take a gamble take a gamble to talk to somebody if you are scared to talk and to open up then choose somebody else take a gamble on somebody okay so you could take a, a, a gamble on an other psychic or medium you can take a gamble on a Pisces you can take a gamble on a Libra person um, or a Virgo because I did come up with Virgo so it might be quite important for you to make contact with these people it could be an other spiritual person for the second card we have the stork you might be moving home 
you there might be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue at hand um, there is a new beginning like I said you could be getting a new job so this could be a new job you will be hearing of a birth this could be a job a project or a child and that is highlighted by the uh, Empress like I said Wow okay there might be a new beginning with a Pisces there might be a new be the, this is highlighted the Pisces okay there might be a new relationship or friendship um, being formed with somebody that is a female that is spiritual absolutely lovely take an, a note of that and make use of it if you can't get out of your own feelings or thoughts make sure you don't have sleepless nights now in the third corner you have the ring so you will be forming a partnership like I said you could be forming a partnership with a psychic or with an other female or male, a male friend that is a Pisces um, a Virgo a Libra or a Leo perhaps Leo Virgo and Libra those three months because we've got a three something new might begin and th that time might be significant I had this with another reading that there were three or four months consecutively either the card was representing the zodiac sign or the time of the month okay so business partnerships or a new passion could be coming in or there might be a turnaround with a Virgo a Libra or uh, a Leo or a Pisces so there could be uh, um, somebody coming back or you might be after a quarrel you might actually um, have this turnaround because this card the stalk has a turnaround these are and this is the card of the whip and brush broom that they used to hit people with um, and that means quarrels and disagreements but it's a number 11 so again a 2 so you've got a 2-2 two, two, but you've also got 11 that's an, uh, an angel number now 2 times 11 is 22 so there you are 2-2 two, two, 22 so the angels are giving you a porthole like the two trees which represents the pillars in with the high priestess you can step through to the other side and start again with this new beginning if that is what you wish because that's what you're determined to do then you will make it work but it could be help with an advisor okay she's a teacher she's the head of the church uh, or like the Hierophant she's the other half of the Hierophant she has the book of knowledge and also Mother Earth you might ask advice from a lady that you respect a mature lady or a mother figure so right or somebody that is a Leo which is the fire sign that makes that is creative enough to get what she wants okay wow I really do like this reading there's a lot to learn from also to accept your feelings and to listen to your feelings and to listen to your higher self okay that's where the messages come from from the divine and from the angels you have the fawn angel feather and difficulties will be resolved the angels are present to inform you that particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end nine nine but difficulties will be resolved now you've got the spirit courts now you've got the spirit here with the uh, what was it the 22 and the 11 and 2 times 11 is 22 so I think that's quite magical and again you've got a number 9 because you've got number 54 
and that becomes a 9 that's an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning and the meaning of this spirit quartz is connecting to the community universal love harmony and cooperation you have to learn to cooperate and to talk um, to open up your heart to find out information to seek advice from a mature lady or a strong independent lady that knows how to be creative I would definitely say a mature lady because that is what we've got two mature women here but for the same uh, uh, sense it could be the man this would be then the emperor and this would be the high priest eh, priest so even if you are spiritual and you go to uh, the church then seek advice from those uh, people or people from an institution or a municipality and the angels are here and they're showing you this through the reading and they will heal the partnership that strong uplifting energy will weaken you uh, sorry that's uh, the strong lifting up weak taking turns supporting each other when the crystal spirit appears the message is to reach out and connect to your community like I said a mature woman or a mother figure and this discover the true power of your gifts through sharing them with others you have got two spiritual cards and this might be an indication that you might not feel very well or feeling great in your own little skin because you might not understand but you are willing to put the highest good ahead of the ones of your small self in that in your own life and cancer you are a highly sensitive person and I know a lot of cancers and two of them are really my favorites one of them is my daughter and the other is my brother and I do know you are very quirky and you can have great laughs with you but you are you do hide your emotions because you want to be of service and help others but don't forget you have to love yourself and nurture yourself first of all before you can help others otherwise you'll get run down and that is not what you want because then you cannot help uh, others so connect with the universe universal love and connect with the community and don't be shy away to ask help from others it will bring you harmony and cooperation and also recognition because when they need help then you can give it back like you usually do yourself now the answers from the angels is within the next few months you will see great advantage, adva uh, advancements if you do choose to go and take the spiritual path if you do want to get your to know your higher self you will see the difference in your spiritual uh, or your higher self your growth your knowledge your life experience you can help others and you will be able to understand that if you love yourself and you nurture yourself then you can take better care and be of better support to others I hope you've liked this reading and I hope you take from it what you can use and if it doesn't really resonate with you then have a look at your sun sign and your moon sign and I hope to m meet you or m and make acquaintance in the live sessions on Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between I set out notifications on Instagram and Facebook and the community tab on YouTube so keep an eye open for the times that I will be going live and I'll see you in the live. Take care and stay safe and 
enjoy your week and please like and share and subscribe thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao